In this Viggle AI tutorial, for beginners, I will show you how to generate animations using the Viggle AI. We're going to show you how to use Viggle AI to create animations and more. In Google, search for Viggle AI. From the first search result, you can see Viggle AI, and this is where you need to visit to get started. Open this web page. This will take you to the official Viggle AI website. I want to take you here because there are two options. You can join the beta via the website and you can join the beta via Discord. I'm going to join via the website first, but keep in mind that there is also a Discord. You can see that I've already signed up using my Google account right here. My account for my Discord is connected to my Google account, meaning that if I make an animation using the Discord method, it will also populate right here. There is a method that you can do right here on the website to create animations. The way you do this is you select an image from your device by tapping here, or you can drag your image into this section here. Now let's search for the image on my device. In this example, I'm going to use Cuddle Team Leader, who is a skin in Fortnite. You can see the skin right here. It has an alpha channel. It has a transparent background. Then it's about the motion. I can select a motion from a video that I already have and I can tap and do the same as I did for my image. Now I want to find a video which has a full body motion or has a frame similar to the still image. Meaning if I'm showing the whole body of my image, then I want to have something similar for the video. In this example, I'm going to choose Conor McGregor doing his normal strut. That is the animation motion that we're going to attempt with the website. But hang tight because I'm going to show you a lot more in the Discord server. From this stage, if I want my Cuddle Team Leader skin to be animated like this Conor McGregor motion, I would select Generate right here. But I can toggle the Enhanced Quality on or off. Let's select Generate to start this on the website. There is also a prompt on screen letting us know that due to the server capacity limits, you can create the maximum of two generations at peak times. We are constantly optimizing the Viggle production experience for all users. What this means is because there are so many people using Viggle at one time, the servers are a little bit full. So you might have to wait and you can only generate two images at a time. I'm going to do this image by pressing OK. This will then begin to animate the skin that I have right here, like Conor McGregor. As you've just seen, there is also a Discord server where you can begin this process and do a lot more. I have this open, but you can go back to the web page previously in order to get to this server. You then sign into your Discord account, and this is where we're going to animate and more. Once inside the Discord server, you will see this populate on the left hand side. Animate one, two, and so on. I'm going to select animate 14 to get started animating some images and more. Stay tuned. Here, there's a few options that we can use. I'm going to tap the forward slash. Inside of the forward slash, you can see there are a few options that we have available, but these aren't the actual things that we want to do. So let's go back a moment. We want to use mix or we want to use animate. In this example, I'm going to use mix. What this is going to do is something fairly different. We're going to use an image and put that over the top of a moving subject. First, let's find our image. You can drag and drop, or you can click to upload like we did before, as we did for the website. In this example, again, I'm going to use an image that I want to use. And in this example, we're going to use Cutter Team Leader is the skin that I want to use. There might be issues with the transparent image, which is the reason why I'm choosing this one first. It has an alpha channel. It's been edited to remove the background already. This could cause issues. Next, where is this going to appear? What motion is this going to cover? Let's select this. So from the drop down menu here, I'm going to find a video. Now I need to go back into my downloads because I have a video that I want to use. In this example, I'm going to use John Cena at the Oscars. John Cena at the Oscars has now been entered. Next, the background. We can select a white background or green background. In this example, we're going to select a green background. Next up is fine tune. Fine tune will make sure that the character is of high fidelity, of a high quality, and of course, any obscure 
shapes won't be happening with the character model. In this example, because it's going to take an additional two minutes to do this, we're going to turn this off. So Coraltine Leader might not have a fully rounded head and there might be some of the model that might not look exactly accurate to a complete animated model. There might be something missing. Or, for example, if it's moving the arms, it might go back to the actual original shape of the arms at some points inside the finished video. This is because we're not using fine tune. But if you want to use fine tune, because this will, of course, be something that you want in your finished piece, then you can have a little bit more patience and you can select fine tune. When happy with your selection here, you can select enter. This has begun to create our animation, in this case, a mix. There has been an issue because we've used a transparent image and as you can see, the application did not respond. Now let's try a different version with something that doesn't have an alpha channel, doesn't have something missing in the background, it has a full background image. I've noticed when testing out this application, you need to most of the time have a full image that includes a background in order for this to be a success. Let's try again. This time we're going to be in Animate 11. I'm going to press that forward slash and you can see the prompts are actually here. I also wanted to show you that different animate halls or public chats have different prompts available. This could, of course, affect your final finished piece and if the animation is going to take place. Let's try mix again. Mix a character image into a motion video. We're going to try a different selection in this example. Let's first select our image. In this example, I'm going to select and find Tom Cruise. Notice how Tom Cruise isn't showing his whole body. It's from the shoulder length up. So make sure that it matches roughly, at least matches what the video is showing. The video that we're going to select is going to be an Iron Man suit up scene. I have the Iron Man suit up scene of Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man right here. We're going to replace Robert Downey Jr. with Tom Cruise. Next up, the background selection. The background selection that I'm going to make here is green. This is so that I can chroma key the image later on if I want to place it on top of the Iron Man suit. Fine tune is also available. And in this example, again, I'm going to turn this off. Once happy with what you've done, press enter. As you can see, this has been a success at this point. You are in the production queue and the video will be displayed at this message in two to five minutes. There is also a few things that you can have a look at. For example, key frequent ask questions, find my video on phone or find my videos on PC. Remember, fine tune was turned off in this example. I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like with the finished piece. You can also do the same for animation. And of course, what this is going to do is it's going to animate a still image to a certain motion that you've entered. We can have a look at this as well. Let's show you animate. Because of course you can also animate a still image using Viggle. We're on the Discord server again. We're gonna press forward slash. Right here you can see the animate prompt. We're going to select this. Now we need an image that we're going to animate. In this example, I'm going to use an image that I've taken of myself. Brilliant, I have my image. The next step is to use the motion prompt. If I select motion prompt, you can see that I can enter a motion here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Viggle website and I'm gonna to go to where you can find some prompts. These prompts you can use as the motion of your still image. I'm going to find Conor McGregor because Conor McGregor has a certain walk about him. Hopefully I can spell his name correctly, Conor McGregor. Now I think I almost found Conor McGregor, but I haven't found him just yet. We want the billionaire strut. So let's look for strut. If I'm not mistaken, his walk is called the billionaire strut. We can't find it here, so let's select another one or let's keep searching until we find something that we want. In this example, we're going to select this one right here as it's quite popular. If I want to use this motion, I can select the hashtag in the corner right here. We've now copied that prompt successfully. I'm gonna go back to the Discord server. I'm gonna paste this into the motion prompt. Now the background. For the background, I'm going to use the one from the template. And for fine tuning, I'm going to actually turn this on. Once happy, I'm going to select enter and you should too to get ready to see the final results. Let's have a look to see how this turns out. You can see that this is in the production queue. Don't forget to select find videos on my PC if you're using PC and you want to come back to your animation. 
or find video on phone if you're using phone. And remember, there are also frequent ask questions. Let's show you how this works for PC because I'm using PC in this demonstration. I'm going to select find videos on my PC. It shows you that the search bar at the top inside of the server you can use to find your messages and also to find your video once it's completed. In order to do this, go to the search bar and then you need to find mentions. So if I go into the search bar here and then tap mentions and then use the at symbol and then type me, M-E, hit enter. This will display any messages that have been sent to you. This is how you can find your video when you're using this function. Let's wait for the final finished piece. This is how you use mix and animation in Viggle. So let's have a look at some of the results. You can see that I have now animated myself using the mix feature, which I've just taught you how to use. And you can see the image of myself and then me replacing Lil Yachty in the mix right here. Let's have a look at the final finished piece. You can see that I come out on stage just like your Lil Yachty and you can see the animation taking place. That's me doing the very viral movements that Lil Yachty has done on stage and using the mix that has also gone viral with different characters. And there are many other things that you can do inside of Viggle like the animation that I've just taught you how to do as well as a mix. And you can see some of those animations right here. For example, here is me acting like Conor McGregor as I've animated myself to move like Conor McGregor. Of course, the face isn't top notch, but you can see that it's me wearing the clothes that I'm wearing, skin tone and my Afro hair. Check out that Conor McGregor walk. Some of the movements, of course, might look a little bit odd if you're using green screen and sometimes the motion capture, if you're not using those fine tuning options, will be slightly off. So it's up to you if you want to be patient enough to use those fine tuned settings and get an absolutely crisp animation. And you can see the video that I've used to animate myself right here. Conor McGregor in the octagon doing his millionaire strut. It might be called the billionaire strut. Another one I've done is Peely. So you can see Peely here dancing and that's Peely from Fortnite. Again, I did not use the fine tune setting. So you can see that a few bits of the animation are slightly off, including Peely's head. But you can see that that animation has been complete with a white background in Viggle AI. Don't forget, there's more where that came from right here on the Mr. Money YouTube channel. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.